There we go, perfect. Hello friends, Katie Corget here from uh, Midwest Outdoors representing Deeper Sonar. And we are hooked up and attempting to get a fish through the pads here. Just a little guy to start us off. There we go. Healthy looking bass. More weed or bass, I don't know, we'll find out. Lift him in here. <laughs> That's a good way to start the day, huh? Check out this guy. All right. So we're fishing here in Minnesota. This is the land of 10,000 lakes. You can see we're on the shore today. Minnesota is a very, very rich fishery. We can get out on the boat. People equate it with going up north, catching that monster. And we're gonna show you how to use that deeper sonar and get on the fish, no matter if you are at a state park, on a public dock like this, or on the shoreline. So this is a good start to our day. Stay tuned and we're gonna be using the deeper shortly. Say ah! All right, we got a fish on. <laughs> we'll see what it is here. I have a feeling, oh, looks like it's hopping. Just a little bass we have out here. Let's see, there he goes. A little feisty guy. I'm gonna alley-oop him right in. There we go. <laughs> and so today we're using live bait. It's giving us a good shot to get on these very aggressive bass. I would say your best bet for later summer and fall would be to use that live bait. Number one, it's natural in the lake, so fish are more inclined to take it. Number two, it's giving you that action so you don't have to continually you know, check on it. For kids with a bobber, for example, you can just cast a bobber out. The, t the setup that I'm using today is actually allowing that bait to be kind of floating and swimming around on the bottom. So we have just a, some clip-on sinkers to allow this line to be floating around in that sucker minnow at this, at this stage of the game to be swimming around too. So it gives you that nice natural action that allows the bass or the northern that's swimming by to be able to see it and pick it up. Oh, looks like we got someone on here. We'll see what kind of fish we have. Looks like a nice healthy bluegill here. There we go. So we're doing a, a few different types of fishing today. You can see I have the very simple bobber set up here. I was also using a sucker minnow kind of suspended off the bottom. We're switching it up with crappie minnows now. Supposedly uh, everything seems to like that. So we're going bluegill, getting some bass. But basically before this, I have my deeper sonar. I casted it out on my line. And the nice part about that is I can go anywhere on this dock, whether I'm fishing shallow or I maybe want to go off the end of the dock cast it out and I get that direct feed on my phone. So then it tells me, okay, maybe I'm trying to get in the school pan fish. Where are these guys hanging? Are they suspended? Are they towards the top? That deeper gives me the exact feedback right from my phone and tells me where I need to be casting. Oh, bobber's down, here we go. There we go, got a little one on here. So I just had casted that deeper out. I was looking for a school pan fish. We're fishing about five, seven feet. And sure enough, there we go landed ourselves right on the school. It's so nice to be able to get that instant feedback. Beautiful colored fish. But right on my phone, right away, I'm seeing what the structure looks like. I'm seeing where those weed patches are. And it gave me the, the blips of a big school of these guys all together. And sure enough, there they are right there. So there are some really great features of this deeper sonar. This is the uh, Pro Plus model. I want to tell you about a few of them. First of all, it's so tiny, it really fits in the palm of your hand, which means you can take it anywhere you go. It's completely waterproof and it gives you a little guide when you're unscrewing the top to be able to charge it to help you navigate to make sure that it's waterproof the next time you're using it. In addition to that, there's a really nice app that complements this deeper. So when you go on your smartphone or your tablet, you're able to pull up the app, you cast this out on a line, and as soon as it hits the water, there's sensors on the bottom of this deeper that tell you how deep the water is, what's the structure look like on the bottom, it tells you the water temperature, and it also is gonna give you a nice feed of the density of the fish. You're gonna see those fish pop up, you're gonna see where they're suspended in the water column. But another social aspect of that is you can take notes on the different spots you've been to. You can actually, if you're taking a photo, you have the ability to mark it and also come back to it at any time on that app as well. So those are some really nice features. It makes it very easy to use. Whether you're a fisherman that's been out there for just a couple months or you've been fishing since you were little like me, I would say it's a very essential tool and it helps you always get on the fish whether you're fishing in two feet of water or 250. <laughs> just hooked up with this massive bass. He's gotta be five pounds. And we're chasing him all around the dock. We're going wherever he wants to go at this point here. Look at him. Holy cow. 
<laughs> All right, <laughs> look at this guy. Absolute hog and I'm a hot mess because look at how big this fish is, guys. Oh, what a day we have had out here. Check out this bass. He's got to be all of 19, 20 inches or so. Big, healthy fish. We have been casting that deeper sonar out all day just from different angles of the dock. We were using uh, crappie minnows earlier. I just switched up to sucker minnows. Made a couple casts under the dock. I was casting and bringing the deeper in and noticed in the shallows it was marking a lot of fish. And this is a perfect example of what what to do and how you listen to the deeper and how it gives you that immediate feedback and put you on a trophy fish right on the dock. How cool is this? Ah, if you would like to learn more about the deeper sonar and how it can get you on trophy fish like this, visit deepersonar.com. Thanks again for uh, hanging out with me here out on the dock. More of Midwest Outdoors coming your way. Katie Courget, tight lines. Thanks for fishing the Courget way. Oh, cool fish.